So. Fantastic. Great. You know, it's always, I, I hate it when it gets too hot. Even for a muscle man like you. Hey, well, I'm, I'm uh, you know, Thor is used to the cold weather. You know, I like the cold, cold mountain weather. <laughs> How's the career going these days? Well, absolutely incredible. You know, we, uh, uh, well, last year we played the Sweden Rock Festival and the uh, Sauna Open Air Festival in Finland. And the, uh, we, we uh, started the Muscle Rock Festival in, uh, in Sweden. And they were all uh, big uh, uh, sellouts and uh, everything was great. And, uh, yeah, you know, we just recently did a uh, sold-out uh, tour of the United States and Canada, uh, mainly on the West Coast. And we're planning to do a fall tour out east and we hope to come to nova scotia right now we have montreal booked for october 29th uh toronto october 28th uh, and uh then there's uh, quebec city on november 13th and and then we hope in uh somewhere in there to play uh your area that would be great to see a tour play in halifax nova scotia all i can say yes uh it's been a long time i played in halifax in 1974 i believe uh, but that's too long, too long ago. It was a place called the Misty Moon. I don't know if that still is around at all. It's not around anymore, but it uh, used to bring out big names. Yeah, it was a uh, great venue. I liked the venue. And, uh, yeah, was, uh, you know, we played there. And uh, But, you know, I've been longing to come back to Halifax. And I, I think it's a great city, and I, wa- I want to come back there because people like their metal there. They sure do. Never, never stopped. Let's say 1974. How, uh, how was the scene back then in uh, Nova Scotia? Well, at that time, um, I called my, my band was called uh, Michael Body Rock, uh, which uh, evolved later to Thor and the Imps, and then of course Thor. Um, but uh, it was very, you know, my show was very theatrical, and uh, you know, it was during the glitter rock era, and uh, I thought the scene was, uh, you know, a lot of people were into rock. Uh, you know, rock at that time, and, and uh, of course there were some people um, uh, getting into funk because that those kind of things were happening at that time. And I, that's why I saw Halifax was, a di- you know, quite a diversity of different kinds of music, but the majority of people liked rock, uh, and, and, uh, and you know, when it came down to it. And, and that's what we called everything back then in 74, was, it was rock music, you know, even even... Uh, you know, before it was called metal, uh, you know, or or heavy metal. Like <clears throat> Grand Funk was called heavy metal back right. then. You know, so that, that was a heavy metal band. So so people really didn't have uh, the identity correct. So overall, it was rock. But hey, go just to make a you know, it's short. Uh, you know, Halifax was a great rock scene. That's awesome to hear that you know it was uh, still great back then in the seventies. Absolutely. For today, let's say, are you going to be recording a new album anytime soon? We're working on songs? Yeah, well, I have so many albums out right now that, uh, you know, we're getting ready to, uh, you know, uh, record some more. Of course, we're filming a new movie right now, uh, Thor uh, Ragnarok. And, uh, you know, right now I've re-released uh, Thor Only the Strong and Thor Only the Strong the Becoming. Uh, and then on iTunes, it's uh, Thor Only the Strong the Metamorphosis. Hmm. And uh, I've d- done numerous. Uh, I've done numerous re-releases, such as uh, you know, live in Detroit's been re-released. Uh, we put out a new album co- uh, just recently. Well, a couple of years now. It's a uh, sign of the V on Vulcan Sky Records, um, and we've re-released Unchained. And all of them have done very, very well, right? And then we've done some uh, iTunes only or digital uh, releases uh, like The Guardian, live at CBGB's in New York. So I'm constantly putting out albums, right? Uh, so I'm I'm not, not one to stop doing that. Now, do you remix uh, these albums or you know uh, remaster them also? Yes, uh, we remix them and remaster them. A lot of that is done down in Florida. Uh, with Steve Price. Steve Price has been in my band since we toured uh, through the 80s. Uh, he's been my guitar player, and he handles all of the remixing and, and remastering at Stepco Sound Studios in Boca Raton, Florida. And then with the remastering and all that stuff and remixing, it uh, puts a brand new life to it. It sure does. There's so much you can do uh, with digital now. And, of course, we like adding bonus tracks. And uh, one song that we... Uh, 
we added to uh, uh, only the strong, uh, uh, the becoming is a song uh, which be- has become our theme now. And everybody, wherever we go, all over, uh, into, into, whether it's in Europe or or uh, United States and Canada, it's, it's called Warriors of the Universe, and everybody sings along. So we we did a live version uh, that we did in Sweden Rock Festival and added as a bonus track on the new album, uh, Only the Strong, the Becoming, and and people really love that song. So uh, when we come into Halifax, we, we hope people will love it just as much. Now, do you guys film most of your concerts that you do also? Yes, yes, we we do film a lot of uh, of the concerts, and uh, just right now on, on on classic rock, if you go to Classic Rock UK, uh, we just uh, shot a scene uh, for Zon, son of Thor. What's going to be happening is my son I had with uh, Pantera. I don't know if you remember Pantera. She was in my band as a backing vocalist. Uh, uh, back in the the day, uh, she was like a female sorceress uh, in you know the day of mm-hmm. thunder and the tundra, and when we had all the hits in England, I'm talking about '84, '85, you know. And her and I had a son, uh, his name was Zon, right? And uh, so now uh, he's going to be taking over some of the uh, uh, the Thor vocals. Like there'll be uh, two different brands of Thor, and one is where I go out myself. And I tour with uh, uh, Steve Price and Mike Favada, and then he's Thor of the New Azer, which he has a band of younger guys for the new generation, and he, and, and he goes out and tour. Uh, but what we're going to do for the fall is to uh, do our shows together. So there will be a ceremony on stage to introduce Zon, son of Thor, but you can see it on a video, a special video. It's a, it's a three-minute rock opera that we made and uh, Classic Rock is showing it uh, to the world. If you go to Classic Rock uh, UK there and uh, Total Rock in uh, UK, and uh, you can you can check out our uh, video. Yes, I did see that, and that's uh, quite interesting. Do you figure in the let's say in the near or far future that he'll be uh, taking all over, you know, and uh, only doing tour himself? Uh, yes, uh, you know. What's happening with me is I'm doing more and more movies, uh, especially this movie that I'm doing, and soundtracks. Also, I have my own uh, company, Vancouver Millionaires, uh, where I brought back the only uh, Vancouver Stanley Cup champions ever in history, uh, the Vancouver Millionaires, because Canucks never won uh, a Stanley Cup ever in history. So, uh, you know, I brought them back from the dead, uh, the Vancouver Millionaires. And you can check out our our website vancouvermillionaires.com and 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 see what uh, kind of jerseys uh, we have and I've recreated uh, uh, the Vancouver Millionaires uh, and also teams from the past mm-hmm. that people have forgotten about but I still want to glorify the heroes uh, of the past I'm a big uh, hockey fanatic sports fanatic as you know as well as uh, ro- uh, as rock and metal I just call it all sports and entertainment. And also your tourcentral.com. That's a good looking site yeah, you have. Yeah, tourcentral.com has been around for quite a long time. That's our our main uh, website. And that's where everybody can can go to to get information. And also we have the MySpace, uh, you know, Thor Rock Warrior. Uh, you can check that out. <clears throat> and Twitter, of course, Thor Universe Twitter. And uh, and we got the uh, Facebook, you know, John Michael Thor Facebook. So there's all kinds of uh, places where you can communicate with us and and find out about the upcoming shows. Now, does John Michael Thor actually use the Facebook himself? Uh, every once in a while, I'll check in, but most of them are are, are done by fans, right? They okay. put up uh, these Facebooks. Uh, uh, John Michael Thor. Uh, one is John Michael Thor, legendary rock warrior. One's uh, John Michael Thor, rock warrior, and and uh, there's also a John Michael, uh, some guy who's a kid in Wisconsin who plays football. I don't know. Uh, it's the only other John Michael I've ever seen, but uh, it's fascinating to see how many different uh, fan sites there are around the world, which is uh, you know really great. It's great to see that and great to. Uh, communicate but uh, every once in a while I'll check in uh, 
you know, with the, the we have a fan club here in Vancouver, and I, I like to go in there and, and say my piece sometimes and say hello to everybody. In your past, what, what was your biggest time that you're like, let's say, the biggest um, body mass because you're a bodybuilder and all that? Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, I don't know if you've ever ha uh, you've gone to the uh, Canada Bodybuilder site. Uh, they got some pictures up there, uh, and also um, on Thor Central dot com, there's a bodybuilding page, right? Uh, when I was in bodybuilding, uh, 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 com competing, um, and uh, uh, one time I was I was 245 cut to ribbons, like very uh, massive, uh, 20 inch arms. Uh, I competed against Louis Ferrigno for Mr. Uh, Teenage America. Huh. Uh, he he beat me about by uh, by a half a point, and then I went went against him and Mr. Universe. You know, Louis Ferrigno, of course, later on became the Hulk, the Incredible uh, Hulk, in t on TV. And I competed against him and uh, you know and Mike Katz, who was in Pumping Iron in, in Mr. Universe. But I was very. Uh, You know, I, that could, because that's what, all I did. I wanted to be a bodybuilding champion. I was a, a young teenager at the time, and uh, I would go down to Venice Beach, California, and train with Arnold and, and uh, Dave Draper, all the champions, uh, Ed Corny. Uh, there's a lot of great champions like who would just hang out down at Muscle Beach and uh, train at Gold's Gym, uh, Frank Zane. It was a big time for bodybuilding. Bodybuilding exploded at that time in the in the early 70s, and uh, it was great for me. And I won 40 titles, 40 championships, uh, including Mr. North America, Mr. Can the first Canadian to ever win Mr. USA and Mr. Canada, and uh, and Mr. World, and also a Mr. Universe title I won. Uh, it was a great time uh, for me, and then I retired at 19 years old uh, and went into show business and heavy metal uh, full time and you were a Mr. Universe at one time yes I uh, had yeah, there's a whole record of my titles on uh, I think it's called Canada bodybuilding they uh, they record everybody who's who was uh, in bodybuilding who who made the scene who did something in bodybuilding uh, right from the inception of, of Mr. Canada and uh, we, uh, they just did a whole Uh, bio and and, and uh, archive on on myself should be a good accomplishment, you know, and a good feeling when you wake up in the morning to have done all this stuff in your past. Yeah, I still I I, I look at my trophies. I still have some of my trophies in the trophy case, and uh, you know it's great to look at them and 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 bring out the you know photos from the past, and uh, and it was great because uh, you know my heroes were Steve Reeves who played Hercules and. And of course, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Dave Draper, who was in the movie Don't Make Waves, uh, Larry Scott, who was in Muscle Beach Party, and I wanted to be like them. And 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 uh, because of bodybuilding, uh, because of my love for bodybuilding movies and and rock or metal, uh, I, I was able to accomplish all the things I wanted to do in life, and that is to uh, use my muscles to um, and and. Uh, love of music and acting. Uh, I got into movies. Uh, I did a lot of movies, uh, produced movies, starred in movies, uh, and of course I put out about 30 some odd albums in my lifetime, uh, mm. and a lot of them did quite well, and, and uh, a lot of my movies did really well. Like Exclaim Magazine said Rock and Roll Nightmare was the greatest rock uh, movie, movie of all time, which is a great uh, honor uh, for me. I have actually a copy of that on VHS. Oh yeah, well that shows you how long it's been around. And uh, Synapse Films uh, recently re-released that, and uh, they want to re-release it again. And of course, uh, the interesting thing is John Fasano, uh, he uh, directed uh, Rock and Roll uh, Nightmare, and now his son is is writing, and 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 John's going to direct uh, this movie Thor Ragnarok, hmm. which is like a a, a Thor. Uh, heavy metal horror film. That's incredible. Are, is this going to be a remastered on Blu-ray? Do you figure or only DVD? Uh, no DVD, Blu-ray. Uh, it's going to go all out to like Synapse Films plans to uh, push it all the way, right? The, with all the different technology that's out there. Because that movie was like a Rock and Roll Nightmare, like kind of a cult classic for you know that scene. 
Yes. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been lucky. I've, I've been in uh, quite a few uh, movies or, uh, you know, I've either produced them or I've starred in them or I've done soundtrack for them, uh, such as um, Rock and Roll Nightmare, uh, uh, Zombie Nightmare with Adam West and Tia Carrere. That did really well. Uh, Fubar, right? I did the mm-hmm. title song. Fubar is a super rocker for the movie Fubar. Uh, quite a few, few movies uh, that did really well. And uh, so I, I've been, uh, you know, lucky I've been involved with all these films and, and of course, you know, with, with, the, with the music as well. Another thing, when's the last time you ever seen Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, well, I was supposed to uh, go over to, the, uh, to, to do uh, some concerts and festivals over in, in Europe, right? And uh, I was unable to get over there because of the of the uh, 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 volcano, right? There's, right, right? right. There's no flights going over there. So we were touring in Canada, and then we were supposed to go to London, England next, and then over to Germany. And so, I, you know, just, just out of a question, I, I phoned Arnold. I did speak with him, and I asked him if, if he could get me over to, you know, maybe on a military plane, right? Uh, possibly just, you know, sneak, get me on a, a plane or whatever we could work out. Uh, and I could get over to Europe, uh, but it was was impossible. Even Obama couldn't get over to Europe, the President of the United States. So uh, when that, that when the uh, volcanoes erupted, there was was no chance. In Iceland. Yeah, when it erupted in Iceland, it just happened to be right when we were heading over to uh, Europe. So <clears throat> we have to uh, go back and redo the shows again uh, next year. And in that sense, you you do keep in touch with Arnold. Yeah, every once in a while, I say hello to Arnold. You know, because Arnold uh, has been a great inspiration and and uh, obviously one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. He's a very busy man, but uh, you know, every once in a while, I get a chance just to say hello. Uh, he was up in Vancouver for the Olympics, and I also was able to say hello to him when he was up for the Olympics. That's great, you know. Uh, you know Arnold Conan the Barbarian, and your tour. Yes, of course, and uh, uh, we're we're hoping the you know with the Thor movie coming out next year and our Thor movie, uh, and and you know it's going to be very much like how Conan was when uh, when Conan uh, came out back in the uh, in the early '80s. You know there was a lot of uh, Conan became a big movie and everybody got into the whole. Uh, you know, heavy metal was really big, and and the mid- whole medieval uh, sword and sorcery thing was big. And I think the same thing's going to happen next year, right, with the release of Thor. Uh, not only the uh, Marvel Thor, but also uh, our own Thor the, that we're putting out, based on the 1982 graphic novel of the character Thor that I, I, uh, I wrote back in 1982. Interesting. There's so much to learn from John Michael Thor. So much. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long uh, um, and fun career, right? You know, I uh, I really have enjoyed every moment of it. Well, John, it's been a pleasure talking to you tonight. Wish you only the best of luck in your career and success. It's uh, incredible. 30-some albums, incredible. Absolutely, and uh, f- uh, four decades of rock going on five decades of uh, rock. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Jason. It's a pleasure to be on your show and I really look forward to meeting you when we come over to Halifax. We really hope to get there this fall. Well, I sure hope to get to see you guys play. It'll be uh, great, great to see. John Michael Tor, you have a great evening. Okay, thank you, Jason.